You've seen us collide two 45 caliber bullets into the faces of each other. But today we're going to see if we can visualize just how much faster a rifle bullet is than a handgun bullet by sending it into the back of it. We promised you a caliber war. This is the commencement of the caliber war. Which is in the works, but in the meantime, we have a caliber drag race, I guess? Essentially, yeah. But if you've ever been in a range and you've got somebody shooting a 45 and somebody shooting a 223, there's a greater than 0% chance this has actually happened in front of you. You just didn't have this to see it. Yeah, I've never seen two different bullets of different speeds, different calibers in the same frame, one outpacing the other. So we're gonna try to capture that and hopefully get that right into the back of that 45. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. So real quick, to illustrate what we're hoping is gonna happen today, we've got a 45 ACP and a 223 rifle round. This is like 2000 feet per second, faster than this. 45 is going to exit at about 820 feet per second, poof, rotating counterclockwise, that'll be important later. And then some odd milliseconds, microseconds later, 223 is gonna come screaming out, rotating clockwise and smash somewhere into the back of that bullet. We've got this orb of destruction that the impact should happen somewhere in here. And we're able to control the delay in microseconds. So we basically have a converging triangle and at some point their paths will actually flip flop. So we'll be able to use the backdrop to tell us what's happening or not happening and how to adjust it. And then of course we'll have high speed. So 45, bang, 223, bang, splat, destruction. Hopefully we'll see that. If you're really curious about how we go about the testing and what goes into the software and everything. Over on Pepperbox, there is a more behind the scenes, how we went through the prototyping and the R&D and all that stuff. So we'll probably have a link to the Pepperbox in the description. You can go check that out. I think you get a 14 day free trial. Yeah. So you could go watch it for free. Today, we're gonna figure out the rest of that delay and hopefully get some collisions. Test number one. All right, let's do it. Okay, 45's hot. 223 is hot. Off safe, weapons are hot. First test in three, two, one. They definitely missed each other. Yeah. All right, looks like rifle fired first. So we could either do it again with the same settings to see what the consistency is. Let's go two in a row. Okay. Cold cylinders, cold actuators. All right, let me reset high speed ram. All right, take two of the 4200. High speed ready. In three, two, one. If you're a long time viewer of the channel, you know it's not gonna work till I say I feel it in my bones. <laughs> All right, 5,000 microsecond delay. Did that sound different to anyone? Not really. Or am I just hopeful? Rifle fired first, but the timing is closer. Do you think each time we do a time, we should do two tests? I mean, if you feel confident that you can tell that there was a move. The first two seemed very similar that seemed like a change happened. 5,500 microseconds. <laughs> 6,500 microseconds in three, two, one. <laughs> that looks a little weird in there. Does it? Doesn't it? Kinda. I just want the 45 to start shooting first. That's all I care about. Yeah. Okay, so I can tell every time we do a change, it's getting way closer. Just wanna do a, a whole nother yeah. 7,500? Yep. You know what happens the next take, right? That's the take we got the 45s to hit, so. Uh-oh. Stakes are high. Uh-oh. All right, high speed's ready. 7,500. We're just drilling into the wood. They were actually very close. Okay. That is super close. So we just need to happen out here instead of here. So maybe add an entire millisecond. You think so? Okay, going up to 9,000. What happens when we get over that? Some Dragon Ball Z fans in the comments know what we're talking about. All right, three, two, one. Ooh, ooh, they're getting so close. Yeah? Oh yeah. Ooh. It's getting close. Now, I think our collision point is like right here. That's where they're both intersecting on the screen. Oh, wow. We need to slow it like way down then. Well, according to this, 
the rifle is 3334 and this is 3335. So that's basically a full millisecond. So we could do that. Go 10,000. We're now over 9,000. We are now over 9,000. 10,000 microseconds. <laughs> oh <God>. <laughs> it's so close. Ooh, we're getting there. We are within a 223's diameter of hitting that 45. I feel like we either change nothing or add just like a couple hundred. It needs to be minute now. 10,250. 250? All right. 250. We've never done 250. I don't think we have. I think this is the problem we were running into with the 45s. Every correction we added resulted in only half of that yes. in reality, and I don't know why. Maybe it's in nanoseconds. That's what it is. We're off by a factor of a thousand. This has to be it. Are you feeling it in your bones yet? Let me check. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bryce is over there feeling his bones out. Three, two, one. Uh, is that one hole? That looks like one hole. That looks like one hole. Is it just because the aim was on, or? Uh, <laughs> That's oh even closer. Oh. I don't know if there's a pixel in between those. <laughs> so the rifle comes through, but if you watch the 45, it tips down and then tips up. Do you see that? If I do it fast forward, it looks like it goes I think, you know, because I'm trying to get the collision here. Right. So if it's glancing back there, I think we scraped it. So that was... Because it's going like this. 11,000. So you're probably going to be right 12, at that. 12,500. Should we just do it? Let's just do it. Okay. I think we just got our first graceful touch. Are you feeling it in your bones yet? Yes. You probably can't tell on that one. Well, remember I said, I think it looks like it glanced it. Yeah, you were like, I think that's what that was. In there. 45's hot. Red's rolling and both high speeds are ready. Is Lexi ready? Lexi is ready. Rifle's hot, off safe. I feel it in my bones. Bryce's magical guess of 12,500 in three, two, one. <gasps> yeah! That's it! There's nothing more definitive than that, baby! One. <gasps> That's it, that just splattered. Dude, that means it's kind of violent when mm. it hits. Yes! There's our 45 bullet. Oh, I didn't hit play. <laughs> I was like, this is really slow. <laughs> Here it comes. Whoa! Yes! All right. That is so cool. That hit a little bit high. Let's look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that splatter pattern. 45 just goes down that and is two, two, three way goes Way more violent than I thought yeah. it would be. Yeah. Got that ignition spot on there. We be hitting some bullets on this channel. So I can get this angle a little bit better. Okay. And I need to see where it's happening in there as well. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. We could almost go 13,000. Yeah. It'd be a little bit later. Yeah. All right, we've had one success. Ready for another splatter? Another splatter in three, two, one. Yep, oh, yeah. that's it. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. One. Yes. We are, we are good. I feel compelled to say that we might know what we're doing. Woo. My teacher said I'd never amount to nothing. He never shot a bullet out of the air. <laughs> Ooh, yes. That was a good one, too. Yes. Yeah. So how much more centered was it? That is very Dude. close to dead center. Holy smoke. That's to the point we don't change anything. No, 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 no. It'll no. just be. Hang on, I gotta send this to Pew View. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's gonna be the dead center. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Look how spherical it is. Dang good hit. That's like opposite of the 45s that made the plane. This is a sphere yeah. of explosion. 
That's freaking cool. And look at that smoke that gets left behind right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, at this point, we could just zoom in and get faster. Yeah. I've got green tip, so there would be a steel core. Oh man. And then I have two steel tipped. I don't know if it would change anything though. It's already so violent that like... The only difference would be in the middle of this star field of debris, we would get a little cone of steel still moving. That would, Maybe? That would be kind of cool. The steel penetrator is not caring. Double saving that. Okay, loading the 45 with 830 feet per second. Weapons hot. Loading the 223, 2,900 feet per second. So much faster. Weapon is hot. And if you want to get your start in gunsmithing where you can learn ballistic calculation, shooting sports management, maintaining a range, and doing everything safely, you can get your start in gunsmithing and all the way up to an associate of science in firearms technology in the link below at sdi.edu. Bryce, are you ready? High speed is ready. Let's get another collision. Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! That was cool. Yeah. Look how much of the 45 stayed together on that. I think that was all of the lead. It looks like it sliced the copper. And because of the spinning action, the centrifugal force ripped the rest of the copper off. And most of that lead is that slug yeah. that made that that's hole. That's jacket coming off right there. No way. See, that's the cool thing about this is just like the 45s, each one's going to be unique. I'll, I'll bump that, it back. That should be perfectly in frame for the ultra high speed. You wow. said the last one was 50,000. Frames per second? Yeah. We've doubled that. Okay, so you zoomed in, 100,000. Oh, 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 look how deformed it is. That was so, yeah, it cut the jacket, sliced it. And then just out of frame, it comes off of it. I bumped it back left a little bit. The, the 45? 45, okay. Yeah. Do we want to put a green tip in? Yeah. I think this framing needs to bump a little bit left so we get collision and what's happening after. And then I think let's do some steel stuff. Okay. See what happens. 45's hot. Rifle's hot. High speed's ready. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so satisfying. That must be a good one. Oh, wow. You see how much vapor came off the backdrop? that one wide open. That's so good. The way it just unfolds. Watch the ultra high speed and as long as that was in frame, which it should be, we'll move on to some steel cores. Green tip. So violent. Seeing the sun reflection off the inside of that big copper jacket. Yeah, that, the lead loves to stay together. The twist of the 45 is counterclockwise and the twist of the rifle is clockwise. So they're essentially corkscrewing against each other. And I think that's helping and tearing them apart. Yeah, they're definitely not meshing together. So now if we put in some steel, it'd almost be like Sabo discarding. It's going to discard its yeah. copper maybe. And oh. we'll just get some steel going. I say don't move anything. Just see what the lower velocity does. According to Google, it's a little slower even. So that might be fine. Help get it further into frame here. Yeah. Okay, let's just try it. I just have to say how impressed I am with Adam's hardware here, because if you think about it, we've got coating that has a delay in it. It has to energize this relay board that has to turn on relays. Those have to send electricity to solenoids. The solenoid binding has to energize. Those have to push a arm through the bindings. The bindings have to move this arm onto the trigger. The trigger has to then actuate onto the hammer, which impacts on the primer. The primer has to set off the powder. The bolt has to accelerate. Those have to move through space at a certain vector that we've defined and it's hitting every time. Despite all of the variables in here, you did a pretty good job. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Now subscribe. Green tip going in. Three, two, one. No yes! freaking way. There's no way. I love it when a plan comes That's together. That's too easy. Clear. How? Clear. That's a totally different bullet. I feel like we're cheating the universe. Ooh. Whoa! That might be the best one yet. What? Was that perfectly center? I mean, 
I mean. Tell me, okay, tell me that doesn't look like the damn Death Star. I, I wonder if it's because it went a little bit slower. It gave it just, because we'd been high a couple times. Perfectly yep. flowers it. So because that hit so well in our triangle, it should still be perfectly in frame on this camera. Yes. See it peeking in frame? I do. I hope nothing bad happens to him. Oh, oh. something bad happened. Oh my, what did we just do? Dude, that's the steal. There is a moment where that 223 is inside of the 45. That's it, we're done. That's lunch. That's lunch. Holy shit, we did it. We did it good too. And the framing is perfect. I mean, we could still do the steel tip one. Yeah. The M855A1. I don't think it needs more frame rate, do you? No, I you think- You can see everything. No, I think we shoot this. I'll load it up. Okay. So now it's an actual steel tip. Yeah. Cool. Where green tip has this in it. Okay. Very cool. All right, steel tip. Yes. Look how big the chunk is though. Oh, oh, no, that hit pretty good. Ooh, it pancaked the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah, that thing is splayed open. So it, being a faster bullet, is presenting itself here. It happened, it happened right before frame. Oh, but that's so gosh. cool. Dude, it jacked that thing up. Do you think that's the steel vaporizing? It couldn't be. That's, that's it. That's the stick. That cone. So that must be the lead vaporizing then. So that yeah. one was violent. So it's a good thing we have another one. I need to pivot back. That extra few hundred feet per second yeah. is hitting it earlier in the air. I think we have better luck of you moving that than Definitely. trying to mess with the code. All right, steel tip number two. That did it. Yeah! So is this all this darkish gray powder, is that unique to the steel stuff? I feel like we never saw that I before. I didn't see it on any of the other ones, yeah. That is a wild concept that we're watching right now. Mid-air within less than a millisecond, a 223 just wiping it out. Good job, dude. Good shit. Rifle's hot, off safe. All right, firing in three, two, one. Dude, perfect. Look how it turns into a sphere. Weird. Look, it's, in, it's inside of it. We buried a rifle bullet inside of a handgun bullet while moving. While moving at three times the speed of sound. Pubie is gonna love that. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I am pleasantly surprised with just how easy that was. Yeah. If you told someone I'm gonna shoot a bullet out of the air, I wouldn't have believed that. Did it stop happening once we started hitting? I don't think it stopped. No. I think it hit every time. Yeah, we hit every time. That's pretty that. cool. Yep. I think at this point we have quite a bit of confidence that we could keep doing this with more calibers. I know you want to do nine versus 45. Oh, Cause that's like the, the debate that no one's actually done in that way of nine versus 45. Yeah. Just hit them together. I mean, we did it against a torso. Right. But. Shout out to everybody that subscribed. Shout out Denver Bullets. We have new merch designs in the works. Yes. I promise. You're gonna love them. So check out the Bunker Branding website. We've got a little portal over there for our merch coming. That'll support the channel. Help us do more of these cool shenanigans. And if you do like the shenanigans, Pepperbox is an excellent place to be. All of your other favorite YouTubers are on there as well. Uh, not just us. There's Kinda even whole episodes on there that we just, we literally can't put yes. on this platform. YouTube so. doesn't like the F-A words. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Thanks. Anything else? I can make it rain. What are you gonna destroy? The oh gosh. Ow! Jesus Christ. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, do you hear that? See you in the next episode. Why Is that, that your skull? Why did it sound hollow? Oof, duh. <laughs>